everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Alicia from Girl Meets Planner World and in this video we are going to be doing a plan with me for the week of May 25th through May 31st. So I've got another week of not really having a lot of plans. Everything's kind of in the air. We might go fishing this weekend but we're not 100% sure just yet. Um, so I'm not going to mark that we are until we know for sure, but I thought that maybe we could do kind of like a nautical or beachy theme this week. So I was looking through uh, this sticker book from The Happy Planner, The Color Story 4, one of my favorites, and I was looking at the end section where it has like more colorful and rainbow stickers, stickers that I don't use often, and I saw this one, um, this full box here that says stay fresh with some pineapples, and I kind of want to do a plan around that sticker because I want to use that in my sidebar. So I pulled out a couple of washi tapes that we're going to use for uh, the top and bottom of the pages. Pulled these four out. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I might take this one out. I think I'm going to do the pineapple one, this one for sure. I think I'm going to do it at the bottom of the page and then maybe these two at the top. So this one, both of these actually, um, I believe I got in a tube at Michael's. This one came in an oops bag from Simply Gilded. Now it's just a robin's egg color with gold foil dots. It is not, if you can see here, not the same blue as the pineapple, but there are multiple blues in that full box. And I think if I layer them like this at the top, and then have the pineapple at the bottom. Since they're not next to each other, I don't think it'll be that obvious. So I'm gonna start with my bottom washi and then maybe we can see if there's a place for this one because I thought it was pretty, um, the color, but now that I have them next to each other, it might be a little bit too much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay my bottom washi down first. So for anybody that doesn't know, Mama Jen does do cover quite a bit. So this one um, went from, I believe, July of 2019 to the end of December of 2020. Um, but I am thinking, because I thought that it ended in July 2020, which was my bad. I wasn't paying attention. So I was planning on getting a happy planner again um, for once this planner was finished or um, ended. But then I realized it goes all the way to the December. And I really like my mom agenda. I like the way that I've got different sections on my sidebar. It helps keep everything nice and organized. But I also miss my happy planner. So I think... I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with my mom agenda, maybe just use it um, for writing things in as they happen and maybe do some memory planning in my happy planner. I'm not sure. Um, I'm in the process of figuring that out. But if you'd be interested in seeing two videos a week, one where I plan what's going to be happening for the week and one where like where I do my daily planning and then one where I do some memory planning. Definitely let me know in the comments below or let me know on Instagram at Girl Meets Planner World so I can make sure that when I'm deciding which planner I'm going to use that I'm keeping anyone who's watching in mind. So this washi tape is definitely going to cover up these little months, the top of the months here. It doesn't really bother me too much. Uh, I don't really use them. So I'm thinking I'll probably just cover them up with some deco or something. Let's see, but I can see them through. This is a sh more sheer washi tape, so I will white it out. I just wanted to lay it down to see how much of it it covers, so.
All right, so here is the washi lay down. I think it's super cute, love it. I really love the idea behind this spread. Even if we don't go fishing this weekend and we end up just staying home, that's perfectly fine. It's all about making your planner something that you wanna see. I didn't realize that it was gonna cover up the quote. That's perfectly fine. Oh, I wish I would have laid down some white out so I wouldn't see the letters. Hmm. I wonder if I can pick it up a little bit and white it out because then I can just put some deco on top of the one underneath it or the other lines. I like that the mom agenda includes quotes on every week and sometimes those quotes are like perfect for the week that I'm having if it's super busy or something special. And then sometimes I just want a lot of deco. So I think I'll just white out the whole thing and then we'll put some deco right on top of it. That way we don't have to worry about it as we go through. And I'm just gonna lay it back down. Typically I wouldn't worry about it too much, but since this washi is a little bit sheer, um, I could read the words through it. All right, moving on to my sidebar. So we're gonna use the Stay Fresh Pineapple Full Box from the Happy Planners Color Story 4 uh, sticker book. So I'm just gonna take that up. And then for my habit tracker, I've gotta find, I've been looking for like, a happy planner book just with a whole bunch of habit trackers that'd be really great um because i'm out of the thin ones which i like i don't really like the gigantic ones but i'm thinking of using this gigantic one in that um yellowy gold because i think it'll look well um do i want to put it at the bottom or at the top let's see i could put this on top of this I think I'm gonna put the full box towards the bottom and then the habit tracker right on top of it. This full box is so cute. Yay. Okay, and we'll take the habit tracker and put it right on top. It's gonna go, ooh, it's gonna go very high up. So I think, let me turn my planner. I'm gonna align it with this top blue line here, and it's gonna cover up a little bit of the sticker, but it won't um, cover up part of the week that we're in, which it was doing before. I'm gonna have to flip it all the way over because I'm aligning it with this blue line as well as the blue line here for the first day, so for Monday. There we go. So it just overlaps the full box a little bit. It's not too bad, very cute though. I like that a lot. All right, so I say all right, a lot. <laughs> so for my sidebar, I need to label my sections. I wasn't sure, now I'm thinking maybe I should use, I don't have like watery themes for my stickers for my son. So I could use one of the story time stickers from Once More Love with the like teal book or i was thinking i could use one of these polka bun stickers from one town in a million because i was thinking maybe i would use bulbasaur for my husband and then squirtle for ymir for my son i think yeah that's what i'm gonna do so we'll take bulba and we'll put him right here for my husband and then squirtle actually we should switch them should we? Yeah, uh, uh, uh. no. We'll put Squirtle right here. Cute. And then for our workouts, I pulled out the same sheet that I've been using, the workout um, emojis from Coffee Monsters Co. I think I'm gonna use that one right there that's sweating with a little water bottle. And put him right here. And then for everything Girl Meets Planner World, I think I'm gonna use this goldy yellow planner from One Ton in a Million, just the planner by itself, to kind of bring in that yellow again on my sidebar. That's very cute. Love it. 
Oh, did I not pull anything out for dinners? I always forget to pull something out to mark for dinners. You know what? I'm gonna leave it blank and... Do I wanna leave it blank? You know what we can do? In the back of the seasonal book from the Happy Planner, there is like the 4th of July and summer stuff. That's Easter. I wonder if they've got like little food. So there's a hot dog that says yum. I like, I wonder if we can use this pineapple stuff somewhere. I'm sure we can, we just gotta figure it out. A little wa oh, I like this. It's a little watermelon, but the sticker is a, like a page. Okay, barbecue, watermelon. Here's a pineapple or strawberry. These are clear stickers though, so if I lay it on top of here, we will see the washi tape through it. Oh, here we go. Let's use this pineapple. What do you think? I think I'm gonna do that, yeah. And then I had already marked this page in here because I want to use this yellow for marking my son's baths this week. But let's check here in case there's something else we like better. Ooh, that watermelon is a nice pink color. I'm not a big watermelon fan, actually, fun fact. Watermelon's okay, it just, it's kind of boring to me. <laughs> I like that cheeseburger, but I think it's too big for right here. So I think, let's just use that pineapple, this one right here. Oh, is it too big though? This is pretty big. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh look, we can do it like this, half off the page, and I'll cut off the bottom. I love pineapple. Pineapple is one of my favorite fruits. So where are my scissors? So I like to use, um, these are the travel scissors that came in my Simply Gilded subscription box last month. Perfect. It's cute, I like it, it's different for me. Okay, so Monday is Memorial Day, so we don't have a lot going on. Um, <laughs> what, that didn't make sense. So Monday is Memorial Day and I do not work, so I'm gonna mark that. I didn't look for a no work sticker. Um, let's see, I think I did mark the script here, yeah for Memorial Day. Oh, I had also, I used this little magnetic, um, it's like a bookmark, to mark this page because they have day off stickers. So I did look for those as well as work schedule stickers because my schedule is gonna be different since I'm off on Monday. But I kind of took up all the space in my sidebar. So I won't mark my work schedule since there's no more space here. And I really, I don't want to cover any more of this sticker. So I will just mark that in my work planner. Um, but I will use one of these day off stickers. I wish they were a little bit smaller. I wonder if, let's look in the Super Mom accessory book and see if there are any day off stickers in here that are a little bit smaller because there are some script stickers in the back. Birthday, carpool, sleepover, clean. No, there isn't. Pick up, game day, practice. Okay, that's all right. Because I'm thinking if I use this Memorial Day sticker, I may not want to use this giant day off sticker because it's going to take up too much space. Yeah, it's going to take up too much space and we do have some things that we are doing on Monday. So I'll probably just save those just for my work planner because I do keep my work stuff separate. So I'm going to use this Memorial Day sticker. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand because I'm not sure how we're gonna lay it down just yet. But I do need to white out the text here that says Memorial Day just in case we end up using a washi tape that's a little bit um, sheer. So let's look in our Color Story 4 book. We do have some boxes. That one's super cute. Oh, I like this one, because I could do Memorial Day and Day Off inside of that. I don't hate that idea. 
Oh, that's it. And then these, but these are much smaller. So if I use that, it would take up the entire box. So let's use this big one here. This is the three shades of blue and it's got like a grid background. I'm gonna lay that down right here. And then let's pull out, where did I put that? Day off sticker right here. It's really colorful too, so it will match well. It's a little bit more um, pastel in the colors if it adjusts here, but I think it'll work well with the ice cream washi at the top. So let's see, I think Memorial Day should go at the very top here. I love script stickers because I don't necessarily care for my handwriting. Here, let me zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. And then day off right in the center. That's really cute. I really like that. Okay. And then also on Monday, we are going to be uh, cleaning the office. We've, we've got an office that we both use, but we're gonna rearrange it quite a bit. So I did pull out some spring cleaning stickers from Once More With Love, and I think this one here, where it's got the junk box, I'm gonna use that one, but I'm gonna use the tiny version of it. And I'm just gonna put that to the side. I think there's a, I think there's enough going on on Monday that I can just put this sticker to the side and write it in myself. So also on Monday, uh, my son gets a bath. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> Let's pull out the essentials planning book. As I said, I had marked, no, it wasn't this book. It was the seasonal book. And we'll use this yellow. I think that will look really nice. Uh, I know that I don't like the way that the stars come out of the book. Don't have enough of the little asterisks here. So I think I'm just gonna use this shape at the bottom. I think the hexagons will work just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark a little hexagon for his bath. For his these little stickers, I feel like I need a pair of tweezers to put them down just right. Oh, you know what else is Monday? Um, that's when I water my cactus, because I water it once a week. And so I pulled out the plant stickers from Wobot and Friends. And I think I'm just gonna use the blue one, so it'll match well, right here. And again, I'll just write that in myself to water Carl. Okay, so that's Monday. Tuesday is not as exciting. Um, we're gonna go over and see my husband's family on Tuesday. So let's just use this box here. I'm gonna lay that down and I'll write that in. And then my husband streams on Twitch. That's literally everything for Tuesday. Um, and I don't have a sticker for him streaming on Twitch. Uh, Wednesday, we do need to drop off a package. We, my um, light that I used to record my videos that I ordered on Amazon actually broke very fast. So we ordered a replacement and I need to send the original back. So I'm gonna use one of these male stickers from Pookie Bear Cuties. Let's see. Let's just use this, should we use a green envelope? Let's do it. I'm gonna pick up this green envelope with the winking face, it's super cute. And put that on Wednesdays to make sure that we run by UPS to drop that off. It's gonna be a very colorful spread, which I'm very excited about because I feel like I loved the way last week turned out. It's so shiny and pretty, but it's also very neutral. Um, so I'm very excited to have lots of, lots of colors. Okay, so Wednesday, we're gonna drop off that package. My son gets a bath, so we need another one of those hexagon stickers. And I'm just gonna put that in his little section right here. And that is it. Thursday, we are going to have a family movie night, the three of us. So there are these stickers. This is uh, the essential planning again. I pull from this one a lot. So if you're looking for like one book that just has the majority of what you might be looking for, 
this would be my recommendation. The Essentials Planning just has so many things. So when it comes to movie, there is this movie night sticker. Come on camera, adjust for me. Here we go. There's that movie night sticker where we've got the popcorn. And then there's the one with the TV and it says movie night. That, that one also says binge watch. There's two versions of that. I think I'm not a big popcorn person, but it's more colorful than the TV. So I think we are going to use the movie night sticker with the popcorn because I think it will look well look well i think it'll look good in this spread so i'm just gonna there's literally nothing else on thursday if i'm not mistaken yeah thursday we're gonna do family movie night and my husband's gonna stream on twitch so i'm just gonna place that should we put some washi tape down that might be fun what if we do like two strips and this right on top of it let me see what that looks like me actually not really into that <laughs> Oh, I cracked myself up. Well, there is this orange box that was in the color story four, and then I can put this to the side and then write in whatever movie we decide to watch. So I'm gonna put this right here, not at the top, so that the popcorn is kind of like in the center of it. It's a little crooked, pull that back up. Flip the book over. So I can align the sticker with the blue line on the left. I cannot. Thursdays, I can never get the stickers straight. Here we go. That's as good as it's going to get. So we've got that one. And I'm going to lay the popcorn down to the left right here. And then I'll just write in whatever we watch. Let me zoom in so you can see what that looks like. I think that's super cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, now I can't get it back where it was. I gotta stop messing with the zoom and just leave it alone. Okay, um, we're gonna do that on Thursday. He's gonna stream on Twitch and that's it. So Fridays, my typical busy days. Um, got law homework. Call my family. Did I not pull out a sticker for calling my family? I sure didn't. So let's pull that out. I pulled out the typical thumbtacks that I use for law homework and I wanna use the yellow. And then for call my family, let's see. Let's use, um, I'm running out and I keep forgetting to place an order. But I've got these FaceTime stickers from Once More Love and the two that I have left are a blue phone. So we will use that. So I'm gonna put my thumbtack from Once More With Love for my law homework first. And then I will put the munchkin that is FaceTiming. It's kind of like a blue indigo, if you can see that. So I'll put that one down. Oops. Actually, I'm going to have them switch places because this one overlaps onto Saturday. So we'll move the thumbtack to this side. Much better. There we go. Cool. Um, and I'm going to film a plan with me and my son gets a bath on Fridays. So I'm just going to use another little hexagon there. And that's it. All right, on to the weekend. Do you have a bill on Saturday? Our water bill is due. Let's see, I did not pull a sticker out for that. So let's just pull one from this uh, budget sticker book from One Town and a Million that I had gotten at Michael's. Let's see which one we can use. Well, we can use one of these that say bill due. Mm. I'm just gonna use this one that says Bill and it's got like an orange envelope. Oh, you know what I forgot? I actually have a weekend banner that I liked that I wanna use. So let me put that down real quick. Um, it's this one, it's, it says weekend plans. It is rainbow-y, but I think it'll work with what we've got going on. 
And this is uh, again from the Color Story 4. So I'm just gonna pick that up, move it to the side, and lay that across. There we go, very cute. Okay, so now I can mark that bill. So on Saturday, our water bill is due. I will likely pay it, pay it on Friday, but as the website to pay our water bill online has been down the past two months, so I've been having to call. So I will need to check that on Friday before I try to pay, pay it online on Saturday because they will not be open. I wonder if I should make myself a little note to do that. Okay, so that's what we have on Saturday. We might go fishing, but we're not sure, so I'm not gonna put anything down. Um, and then I've got our typical things that we do on the weekends. So I think for that, there is uh, this grid box here, and in the background there's a pineapple. So I'm gonna use that one in between the two days to mark the stuff that we get done on the weekends. And what if, where was that pineapple? So my video stopped recording and I don't know at what point it did. So <clears throat> what I'm doing is pull, I pulled out that pineapple strip sticker that we have in the um, seasonal book and I'm gonna put it across. It is, I wanted it across Sunday and Saturday, um, but if I lay it down, it will also go into Friday. So what I'm thinking is laying it across Saturday and Sunday and then cutting it off on the page like so. I'll show you. I'm gonna lay this across and then I'm gonna cut so that it goes all the way to the end of the page here. Like so. <laughs> Cute. And then I've got this perfect little strip if I wanted to use it somewhere. I'm gonna just put that to the side. And then this one, I'm gonna put just like this, mostly into Sunday. I think that's when we're gonna get these things done, but a little overlapping onto Saturday like that. Okay, so for these to-dos, it's the typical ones that we do and then whatever extra we have, I always write in. Um, but on the weekends we do laundry, clean the house, as well as plan our meals and, oops, order our groceries, there are these checklists, well they're star checklists, in the seasonal book, and I'm trying to see if there's a yellow one, because in the summer there's this teal, this green might be really cool to use. I don't see a yellow in the other sections, because in the Easter area they're more like pastel pinks and teals, and then there's some fall colors and then Christmassy colors, so I'm gonna use the green. I think that would look nice. And then, ooh, I wish the to-do was in yellow. Well, let's look and see if there's any others. There's these to-dos. Let's use this one. I'm gonna put this in the center of the box. So it says to-do. And then I'm gonna put the green checklist to the side. And then whatever extra, move these scissors out of the way. Whatever extra I have, um, it would just be getting done. So it doesn't matter that it's not on the checklist. It won't bother me. These are just things that have to be done every weekend and whatever is extra, we just fill in. So I'm putting that there. Okay, so then for cleaning, I pulled out the cleaning emojis from the Coffee Monsters Co. I think I'm going to use the dishes one. Oh, he's pretty large. That's okay. We'll use him for cleaning as well as um, laundry, so we'll put those two together. Uh, I usually put something down for planning our meals, but I wanted to put something down for ordering groceries because things are getting better here and I'm actually able to order groceries the day of. So I'm using this order groceries sticker from uh, Sweet Kauai Designs. It's just this pink little sticker, little computer. So actually I will leave that off of the checklist and I'll just put it separately right here. 
And then I'll just put my own little checkbox to the side. And then I could have used one of these little ovens for the dinners. I'm gonna use the smaller meal prep Wobot from Wobot and Friends for planning our meals and I'll just put that to the side as well. Like that. Um, and then I need another bath sticker for my son. All right, now let's look at maybe decorating. I have the box still open. Oh, this one would have been cool right there too, but I think the pineapple is good. The pineapple sticker. There's not much as far as deco in this book for this kind of week. Yeah, because the rest are like flowers and the colors don't match. So we'll put that aside. I did pull out these stickers from Oh Hello Stationery. Um, they're like little mermaids and stuff. I wasn't sure if it was gonna match, but we might use those. I gotta put something here to cover the wine out that we did. So let's see what we can find. Oops. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is use this uh, Live Life in Color right here. It's like a little banner and I can put that right underneath and then use some of the uh, Oh Hello stickers to kind of decorate. So let's pull that up and place that right over the white out that we laid down. Very cute. And then I'm just gonna lay these throughout, so. We finished the sheet. Awesome. All right, let's take a look. Um, so now I just need to fill everything out. I did pull, already pull out, I'm ahead of the game this time. Um, so I pulled out my Pilot G2 and .38 in black for writing everything in. And then for the boxes that I'll make next to items I need to check off, I'm gonna use this Uniball Signo pen in the color green. Cause if it's kind of like a watery sea foamy green if you can see. So I think that'll look really nice. So I'm gonna fill this out and then we will look at the final spread with it. Uh, uh, with pit and with ink. Alrighty, so there is the final spread. This is, there's a lot going on for a week that doesn't have a lot of plans, but I love it. I think it's super cute. I love the little deco boxes from the Oh Hello sheet. Um, and I love 
the pineapple like water th- summery theme. I mean, I know that it's only the end of May, but here in Texas, it's, it was already like a hundred degrees the other day. So it definitely already feels like summer. It's going to be a hot one. Um, but this spread looks super great. I love it so much. It's so colorful. Uh, let me know what you think about the spread down below. And if you have any, uh, feedback or want something specific for next week, I think. I have no idea what's going on the week after this week. I barely know what's happening this week. (laughs) If you want to see how the spread turns out towards uh, the end of the week, make sure that you check out my Instagram. I am at Girl Meets Planner World. I post on there often, especially on my stories. Uh, If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate uh, you joining us here. And other than that, I will see you guys next time. Bye.